Here are five of the most likely VFX that you'll ever use and absolutely need to know how to create in After Effects. So let's break these five visual effects down and elevate our post-production skills all in a few minutes. The first effect any After Effects user must know is RGB splitting. This can make your edit cinematic by creating a subtle glitch. To achieve this effect, we'll apply VR Digital Glitch. Right off the start, you can use this effect for an overall distortion glitch effect, and you can animate the entire effect by animating the random seed. This is an incredibly quick way to create a glitch, but this is not my intention. So to clean this up, let's open distortion and set the distortion rate to zero. This will remove the distortion, but keep the RGB split, in which we can adjust by changing the color distortion value. And because we're so cool, we'll animate the color evolution by alt-clicking the stopwatch and typing wiggle, open parenthesis 4, comma, 100, close parenthesis. This will give movement to our RGB split and leave us with a cool VFX. One of the most important effects you must know how to create is how to add camera shake to a clip. And since this is so easy to do, I'm going to show you two ways. One camera shake solution would be to add the motion tile effect. You can apply it to a shot or an adjustment layer. Then all you need to do is add the expression wiggle 0.5 comma 100 to the tile center. And don't forget to check mirror edges. This will add a subtle camera shake to your footage without losing any detail. However, motion tile will not always work because it repeats the edges of your shot. So instead of using motion tile, you can apply the wiggle expression to the position of the clip and then adjust the scale of the footage to remove the black edges. You will lose some detail, but it works. Also, be sure to adjust the numbers of the wiggle expression to make the milkshake more or less intense. Okay, the third effect is distortion. Unlike the VR digital glitch effect, when it comes to displacing your footage or graphics, I like to apply this effect in a controlled workflow. So here's a quick and easy way to create distortion. Go ahead and create a solid layer and apply the fractal noise effect. Set the fractal type to max and the noise to block. Increase the contrast to 300 and the brightness to negative 100. Then open transform, uncheck uniform scaling, and increase the width until the rectangles go across the composition like this. Now go to random seed and add the expression time asterisk 5. This will animate our noise. Then, pre-compose the solid layer and call it Map. Now, create an adjustment layer and apply the displacement map effect to it. Set the displacement map layer to the map you just created and adjust the horizontal and vertical displacement values. And check on Wrap Pixels Around. Now we have this clean distortion effect. You can also throw in the RGB split effect that we created earlier. If you want to have maximum control over the distortions, go back into the map layer and turn off the solid. Then select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. And following this process, you can create a bunch of rectangle shape layers that are only a few frames long. This will create a single cut on your footage and by using this method, you can create your own displacements that you control. For the fourth VFX technique, let's create a VHS effect. This is very simple to create and it comes with a lot of ways for you to customize. First, we'll create an adjustment layer and add hue and saturation. We'll set the saturation to negative 35 to wash out the colors. Then we'll apply the tint effect and set the color to blue. Then set the tint amount to about 10%. Now we'll apply one more color effect and this is curves. Just move the top and bottom points closer to the middle to decrease the contrast of your scene. Now let's apply unsharpened mask to an another adjustment layer just because I don't like stacking too many effects into a single layer but set the amount to 200 and the radius to seven. Then the last effect we'll apply is Gaussian blur. Just set the number to seven. And I lied about that being the last effect because somehow I forgot about the noise effect, which will apply, set the noise amount to 12% and uncheck color noise. Okay, so now we have this great basis for our VHS effect. If we want to elevate this effect, we can easily add the RGB splitting effect from the first technique and the distortion effects. Then you can filter through what you like best and adjust the settings to fit your edit. Creating VFX is fun, but like anything in editing, it takes time. So we've done the work for you and developed 200 VFX templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Just preview the effect in the included Motion Duck extension and apply it to your footage with a single click. Then the effect is applied to your edit within a moment. You can also adjust all the important parameters with a single control layer to fit your project needs. You can check out the VFX pack and all 20,000 templates with the links in the description below and be sure to get your free 100 template pack too. Okay, we made it to the end and you're doing awesome. The last effect is all about adding particles to your project to give it atmosphere. Apply the CC ball action effect to a solid layer. Set the scatter to max, the grid spacing to four, and the ball size to five. 
Now, alt click the stopwatch for instability state and type time asterisk five. This will animate your particles. Lastly, apply the glow effect and duplicate it. Set the glow radius to 300 and duplicate the effect one more time. I usually use this particle effect for motion graphics. However, with the right type of footage, this can look great when you want to add something like fireflies or just particles to deepen the mood of your scene. Thank you for watching and always be creative.